So, Dr. Asnani, uh, drift free is definitely what uh, defines the magnetic dynamic technology. Is this something that was really missing in implantology, in your opinion? Yeah, definitely. Because, uh, see, especially in the upper jaw, when when we used to do uh, osteotomies, you know, so it was very difficult to uh, go in a proper direction. You might miss the direction or you might perforate the buccal and the, the parietal cortical plate. And moreover, the bone is very soft and maxilla. So you have to be very precise. So uh, this tool has, you know, it has given a new uh, dimensions to the uh, implant dentistry. Because uh, by using this uh, tool, you can like any time, at any given point of time, you can change the direction of your osteotomy, first of all. And uh, the, the, the osteotomy is very precise. You know, we are uh, at the same time we are doing osteotomies, we are doing osteodensification. So it's a big advantage to have this uh, tool and which dentistry was missing because uh, you need to, you have everything in one tool, you know, because previously, if I have to do osteodentification, I have to have a Densa kit with me. Then if I have to do an osteotomy, then I have to have a piezo, piezo or a physio dispenser. And I have to keep on changing the tips. It requires irrigation, everything. So a lot of inventory was there. But with this, it is the life has become very simple. So it's all on one uh, solution. Yeah. Very good. So it definitely... Uh, facilitates uh, the procedure for the operator, but uh, do you also see a bone quality improvement uh, when using the magnetic mallet to prepare the site or to manipulate the bone versus to your experience with drills? Uh, definitely. See, uh, when we do osteotomy with the drill, you are removing the bone, okay? So in a compromised situation where uh, there is already the ridge is compromised, you don't have a proper adequate width, you know. In that case, you require uh, bone, you should be, the quality of bone should improve. Like in maxilla, especially in, uh, see, it's a D3, D4 type of bone. And if you're condensing the bone, the bone quality will definitely uh, improve, you know. And it will uh, result in a better osteointegration of an implant because you're not removing the bone neither you are uh, uh, not generating any heat. So there is no question about bone necrosis. The bone is being pushed laterally, you know, in the osteotomy. And so the quality of bone definitely, it from D3, D3 it becomes to D2. So that helps in uh, uh, long-term success of an implant, you know. So the, the technology, as we know, is very versatile. So the same unit, uh, as we said before, allows to do a number of procedures, which is, you know, Right. Very important. One of those is the extraction. That so I guess that you two uh, enjoy to do extractions with the magnetic mallet using uh, uh, tools like uh, this kind of uh, um, instrument. Right. I know that you are, you know, uh, you have a long experience in implantology, in dentistry, in oral surgery, uh, and I was wondering if even with your long experience. Uh, and I'm sure you've been using all kinds of tools and approaches, uh, but is there a particular extraction that uh, you did with the magnetic mallet uh, and that made you very happy? Like, wow, thanks God I had it. Yeah. See, I'll share a few of my experiences with dental extraction. You know, previously, I being a surgeon, I used to use uh, forceps and elevators, you know. Uh, but when once you start practicing implantology, then your extraction should be very precise. You know, you should not uh, damage the, the supporting bone because whatever bone is left, you are going to take support of that bone, you know. And especially in uh, uh, carious teeth or a root piece extraction where uh, there is no, there's nothing to hold, you know, there is no crown structure left, it is all destroyed. So here, this uh, tool is very handy and it comes into picture, you know, because the tips which are designed in such a way that they pierce uh, the tooth and they pierce the periodontal ligament, you know, without damaging the bone. And the tooth gets luxated. And afterwards, it becomes very easy to extract. So especially like uh, for implant practice, this is a very good thing because once the extraction is atraumatic, you, you save the bone, you conserve the bone, and you utilize that bone for implant placement. Then if you see third molars, you know, where third molars, sometimes bone cutting is very difficult, okay? 
and uh, elevation is difficult so with this tool you with the tips which are designed uh, by osho touch they are very good uh, they just you know uh, they just pop up in the they just go into the space and the tooth gets popped out you know it becomes it's a very good uh, thing to have in a clinic especially for extractions like uh, what we discussed uh, last time that you have come up with a different unit only for extraction so i think that is going to change the you know the picture of the dentistry you know because it is a small unit a handy unit which will uh, the dentist can easily use it without fear you know fear of getting a tooth fractured so it's a very good thing to have so from extractions we go to ridge expansion so any time that you find a very thin ridge you're unsure how to to deal with that because the Maybe the bone is very limited and also the quality of the bone is poor. Uh, now we have this technology allows you to operate uh, the instrument in an extremely precise way, one millimeter at a time. For example, using uh, uh, an instrument like this, the Genoa. Uh, how did uh, the, this technology change your approach to ridge expansion if it did it? Yeah. See, previously, what we used to do is we used to use expansion screws, you know, and the burrs to first to give the, the cuts to uh, enter the bone. And then you have to place expansion screws and then expand the bone and then place implants, you know. So it was not very precise. But now with this, the new tip, uh, the Genoa, uh, Genoa which, we have, which we have designed, it becomes like the, it is useful in very thin rich cases where you have only one millimeter of the crystal bone remaining. Okay. And then you have to expand that. So with a normal, uh, what you call expansion screws, this is not possible. But with this new tips, it has become very easy. Once you get the, uh, once you enter the bone, it, it spreads and it like, it goes uh, very, uh, like it, it's very smooth to enter the bone. Okay. And the bone expands without uh, damaging or fracturing the adjacent bone. So you have a, you are very safe, you know, and once uh, it enters the cancellous bone, it, it becomes very easy. The only thing is you have to give a proper, uh, you, you need to hold the instrument properly and just give a, uh, uh, the cut at the cortical level, cortical bone, that's it. Once you are done, it is through it. It, it is like, a, it's like, uh, my experience is like, it's like a, a knife entering an amul butter, you know, it's so smooth, you know, it's, it's very, very uh, useful. So life has become very easy with this. Yeah, which is, I believe is exactly what you want as an implantologist. When you look at that very thin crest, how could I expand it in a controlled way and an easy way? Yeah. So once is... you yeah, once you expand, then you can use other tips to you know just push the bone laterally and then you place the implant. So main thing is the first entry. So the tips are that these tips are very helpful. Yeah, let me underline that uh, all of these fantastic procedures that we are describing, uh, they happen uh, without removing any amount of bone because yes. it's 100% zero bone removal. Zero bone removal. Without, yeah. without generating any heat on the bone. Any it's heat. a whole yeah. procedure. So you don't need the irrigation water if you use a dispenser, and uh, which is also giving you a better field of view. Correct? Yeah, so there are, uh, that's why there are a few advantages, you know, first there is no irrigation. So you have a clear vision of the field where you are working. You have total control of the of the instrument in your hand, you know, the foot control in your hand. It's totally under your control. So there is no uh, removal of bone. There is zero bone removal, you know, and the bone is preserved. The bone is conserved and there is like no heat generation. So major uh, problem with the uh, you know, implant placement is you apply excess torque and you generate already the heat has been generated with the drills, you know. So it becomes like the bone necrosis chances increase. But with this, there is no heat generation at all. So there are very less chances of uh, bone necrosis and there is less chances of implant failure. So uh, one of the most common procedures performed with the magnetic dynamic technology is definitely the uh, sinus lift, uh, crystal approach. Uh, uh, so because now, you know, we have these instruments, we take an osteotome like this and we are able to manipulate vertically the bone in an extremely controlled way. So that allows to approach uh, the, the, the sinus, even when there is a very little uh, bone available in different ways. So what is your 
preferred way to do to perform this procedure, the sinus lift with the magnetic mallet. Uh, see, before having this tool with me, I used to use the hammers, you know, uh, hammer uh, approach, like when you tap it and just lift uh, the, the crystal bone. But then that used to create problems. You know, the patient used to feel that uh, vibrations in the brain. But uh, with this, you know, it's like it has become very simple. You just uh, first drill is uh, two, uh, one millimeter below the sinus floor and then you start using second drill. So there is no vibrations which are passed to the brain, you know. So patient is very much comfortable with so much of pressure being applied, but still the patient doesn't feel anything, no discomfort at all. Second advantage is uh, some many times you don't even require bone graft to be used because if you have adequate five millimeters of bone left, that bone is pushed laterally and upwards, you know. So that automatically gives you a, a, the, the, uh, the bone from the socket is utilized as a graft, okay. So there is many times I don't use graft also. So it has become so simple, you know. And if you have to do two um, uh, sinus lift at a time, it's still, it becomes very, it's it's very fast, very precise. And you are very sure that you are not using any artificial bone. The self patient's own bone is being utilized, the auto bone, and that the results become more predictable. Yeah. What is the, um, you know, typically the, the feedback that we get is that there is a, significant improvement of the primary stability of the implant yeah uh, because of the you know there's two corticals bone that are still there so my implant is going to grab uh, on that bone which we didn't drill away right right and also the direction uh, you know the inclination of the osteotomy um, so what is your opinion on, on that so sinus has been elevated you place the implant what do you expect in that moment? No, uh, see, uh, many times you what happens, you know, uh, uh, we I have done with uh, the sinus lifting with even with with guided surgery with hydraulic kits, you know. But then uh, with this, uh, it is like the same time you can lift it, you can condense it, you improve the quality of the bone. The floor gets lifted, it gets fractured and goes. It's, it is pushed apical, you know. The membrane gets lifted. So at the floor. At the tip of the implant, you have the natural auto autogenous bone, which is a self bone from the patient's own socket. So that definitely improves the primary stability because zero bone is removed, you know. And at the at the the crystal level, you have a good stability. The threads are engaged in a good quality bone. So automatically, the life of the implant improves. You know, the failure chances are very less. Moreover, you don't perforate the sinus membrane because that 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 is a big advantage, you know. The tips are flat, so there is very there is a no chance of that you will you will go wrong with the sinus lifts. You know, there's no perforation of the membrane, which is a big you know peace of mind yeah. also for beginners yeah. because right. it's probably the safest and more controlled way to manipulate the membrane using the magnetic magnet. So, by the way, OsteoTouch is now very committed to to the India market to bring to India this technology and uh, of course that will happen through multiple events uh, that we will participate to so one of these events is exactly in Pune uh, tell us something about the congress uh, that is going to happen uh, in November uh, let us know yeah so yeah, you rightly said, uh, we are hosting, like Indian Society of Digital Dentistry is happy to collaborate with OsteoTouch, you know, like it's a first of its Congress in which is happening in India. It's totally based on uh, digital dentistry, the innovative technologies in digital dentistry. So on 18th, 19th and 20th November, ISDD is hosting a first Congress uh, in Pune and it will be like a three day Congress with a one day pre-Congress courses. And we have almost 10 to 12 international speakers who will be delivering uh, keynote lectures on various applications of digital dentistry. And I'm happy to share that Osho Touch is one of the gold partners for this uh, Congress. And we'll be having a very good pre-Congress course, which will be on 18th. And next day uh, we'll have a, a two hour session, you know, where uh, you will uh, learn from the experts, you know, you listen from the experts because uh, Osho Touch and Magnetic Mallet is coming up with a guided surgery protocol with Magnetic Mallet and, and definitely that is going to be a game changer, you know, in the field of implantology. What else you want, you know, like a, a tool which is so handy and comes with a guided surgery. So the surgeries will be more perfect and precise. 
and also this time we are having an experience zone you know where we where all the the companies will display their products not only display but you will have an opportunity to use those these products in the stalls okay so it's going to be a very big event almost 800 to 1000 delegates will be participating in this event so as an event not to be missed you know it's at a very comfortable price and you will definitely will it, it will be worth you know to see such uh, technologies which are being like innovative technologies which are being introduced in india it is the first time where <clears throat> you will have a hold of uh, magnetic mallet live you know so it's it's don't miss this uh, congress and hope to see you all there so that's going to be um, november 18 19 yeah. and 20 very good 20th that is going to be one opportunity to um, learn and be introduced to the magnetic dynamic technology from a very advanced point of view guided surgery okay uh in the meantime uh, let me tell that we are organizing with you in pune also uh some uh, courses on live patients because we've seen this millions of time uh you to understand what it means you know zero bone removal zero heat bone manipulation control the best way is to use it on patient and life um, patient courses are the best way so tell us something what they can expect when they participate to one of these courses see uh, as you said we are uh, about to start with the <clears throat> learning process with magnetic mallet you know so we'll be organizing courses in pune and the rest of maharashtra like in mumbai in aurangabad in nagpur <clears throat> so we have planned a few courses and it will be a course of like six very small batch it will be five uh, to six people in a batch where uh, we'll be giving a live patients you know first we'll be demonstrating the use and applications of magnetic mallet then you will have the whole you will learn the mallet on first on a dummy model how to use it and then <clears throat> you yourself are going to experience it by working it on the patient you know so it's a, it's going to be one of the course where you will have an immediate hold and uh, uh, to, to learn the the use of magnetic mallet so uh, like a, a, it will be a two day course a small participants small groups and uh, definitely you're going you will going to uh, take away a lot of things from this course and it's going to be like you will you will fall in love with this unit you know with this with this tool so i am being using it uh, since last four years <clears throat> before covid i i bought this unit without getting trained from anybody one of my friend and dr sudhir just suggested me that he is using this and you just you should have this tool in your clinic so i went to delhi to learn i saw him uh, doing patients i uh, i did patients over there so this is how you learn you know unless until you will not work on the patients you will not understand you will not get hold of the instrument just by reading theory it is or working on a dummy model it is not possible to uh, get the uh, learn the advantage of this uh, unit over other equipment so we'll be providing live patients to you like from extractions from uh, implant osteotomies so uh, very soon we are going to come up with the details of the courses and the venue and the fee structure and also we'll have uh, offers which will be specially designed for the course participants okay so if you are interested you can immediately you can order the uh, the tool and you can get a good uh, benefit a good uh, you can say discount on it you know a good offers so stay tuned with us uh, we are coming soon to various cities uh, in maharashtra it's going to be all very very exciting so thank you very much dr rasnani and uh, i see you very soon in pune thank you hope to see you soon thank you